What's going on guys, many here and welcome back to Sunday League with Under The Radar FC. We are here for the first league game of the season, which brings plenty of excitement. We're playing against a team that goes by a new name, but some of us are more familiar with than others. They are Junior Reds. However, they have brought over players from well in town who we played twice before in our first season as UTR. In fact, one of our current players used to play for them and last time he played against us, he did this uh, cutting in on his left foot against Jamil. Run the clip. What's the number 10 and... No, 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 wrong, wrong clip, wrong clip. My bad, my bad. <laughs> he went 1v1 with Jams. <laughs> For good, I'm telling you now, 10 seconds, I was telling Jams, he's all left foot, he's all left foot. What does Jams do? Showed him on his left foot. <laughs> what? Who's next? It's in the top corner. <laughs> I can't lie, yeah. Keep pushing the same thing. Keep pushing the same thing. I'm not gonna lie, you don't show him on his left foot, no <laughs> shot happens. Hey, no. Hey, it happens, man. It happens. Sam, our right winger, used to play for them, and last season we got him onto our team. It's also actually more or less the team that uh, gave me this injury. But yeah, no hard feelings. First league game, how will it pan out? In the starting lineup for us today is going to be John in goal, Brad at right back, Tolu and Will playing at centre back, left back is going to be George. The midfield is going to have Liam, John and Lamar. Up front as the three, we'll have Akin, Thomas and Sam playing against his former team. On the bench, that will leave us with Toby, Jamil, Eric returning, Lanray and Temi. To be honest, yeah, from watching you guys, you don't even need to be spurred on, but from looking from the sidelines and learning this team anyway, this game is going to be one of the pressures and passion. Like, yeah, we could do tactics, so say, do this, do that, but if you have the desire to win this game simply, it will show. And we know what we have as a team in terms of ball playing. It's whether we can earn the right to use that. If we, if we need to play, or if we can play, of course, always play. If it's nitty gritty first five, ten minutes and it's a rough game, just play that. That's what we do need the players like yourself, Liam, John, uh, Thomas, Tolu, Eric to get aggressive, get in our opponent's faces, because that's what they'll do to you, so we have to do it to them, we have to have the upper hand in them. Aggression, the same passion, the same desire to win this game, and we win this game. We know how to play on Astro, we play on Astro against culture. We do the same today, we win this easily. But we have to play our game, we have to. We started slow last week, let's not start slow this week. Let's be in their faces. We, we, know, that we, we know they don't want to play with the ball. Let's be on. Let's be on them from the get go. We've had the football talk. We've had the formation talk. Everybody has an idea of what is required of us today. Listen, at the end of the day, is man v man. All of us got stuff we're fighting with outside of football. This is the moment we actually get to play t with each other and forget about them problems. So, what are you not fighting for? What's going to push you over the edge? What's going to make you run that hundred percent more? What's going to make you run ten percent more, twenty percent more, fifty percent more? At the end of the day, yeah, it's a must win game. But just because it's a must win game doesn't mean it's going to make you amped up. Uh -huh. What you're not fighting for. Remember what you're fighting for outside the pitch. That's why we're here at the end of the day. We all want to provide for somebody. So boys, at the end of the day, if we provide for who we want to provide for outside of this pitch, give 120% like Muff like Muff loves to say, we win. That's if we fight for each other. When somebody wins a header, you say, oh my goodness, great header. When somebody tackle, great tackle. When somebody makes a foul, you even tell them great foul. You get back in. We never f each other off, yeah? Yeah, Break 100%. UTR on three. One, two, three. UTR. One, two, three. UTR. One, two, three. UTR. One, two, three. UTR. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we're at Cold Harbour, uh, the place that we actually used for our home pitch last year. Some of our players liked it, some of our players didn't like it. As I've said before, not everyone likes playing on Astro. But yeah, Junior Reds, obviously in the red, we're in the white and we're ready to go. They're going to kick us off today. Uh, number three tried to respect the Black Lives Matter movement. I don't think anyone else got the memo, but fair play to him for recognising that anyway. When we played them as well in town, they did really like to play out from the back and in the second game it cost them because even I scored a goal um, after pressing. But Akin burst through here, he's clipped her by one of their players and we will get a free kick just on the edge of the box. Sam's standing over the free kick and last time he was in a similar position, this is what happened. Boom, consolation goal against Long Lane. Didn't mean much at the time, but what a strike it was. So then, can we get more of that? Sam on his left foot, big wall in front of him as well. Can he get round it? He does. It's uh, saved by the goalkeeper and it'll go behind for a corner. 
I think that's Lamar taking the corner. It's a deep one towards the back post. Liam uh, getting his head to it. It's going to drop to Tolu now. Uh, Tolu's made it find his way back to John. Thomas tries to flick it there, doesn't connect, and it'll trickle wide of the left post. Bradley in possession, just inside our half, into the feet of Lamar. Does well to sort his feet out in the end and get back to Will. Will takes it out of his feet and plays it down the line looking for Thomas. Thomas still has uh, Bradley in support. He's made his way way up the pitch. Uh, he's found Sam inside the box. Sam on his right foot, and it's not as good as the left. Let's just say that. Junior Reds with the ball at the back inside their box. Uh, as I said, they like to play up from the back. Nice there from the number five, and uh, it looks like the bounce has done him there. Thomas comes back for more, and it's a bit too much of a heavy bite. They've played this out wide to the number seven, playing at left back, it would seem. Uh, the way they played as well was pretty strange in the fact that they had some overload on the left side uh, quite a few times. But Sam done well to work back. It's picked up by the number six. He's trying to get past Will. He's fallen to the ground of his own accord. Referee says nothing doing, and we might be able to start something. Or maybe not. Will's pass to Thomas, and it's straight out of play. They've now got a throw in. Uh, left back to take it. Goes into play. Bradley blatantly holding the arm of the number six, and the referee's had enough. Number 10, right on the halfway line, uh, tries to take that free kick, it's only hit the head of Sam, it's bounced and gone in towards the number 9, Lamar's able to recover the ball for us, ooh, -ho -ho -ho. number 7 with a crunch and tackle, Bradley taking no prisoners either, and the game's off to a fiery start, what is the referee going to think of this, what do you guys think of this, how do you perceive these tackles, were they heavy, too heavy, uh, red card, yellow card, what do you think, let me know down in the comment section below, the referee is clearly uh, not happy with either challenge, uh, but yeah, the first one was very heavy, comes over the ball as well, and then Bradley had to back his teammate up, he comes in with a crunching tackle too. Let's take one more look at this, what do you think, what would you give that if you were a referee, and what would you give this if you were a referee, let us know. Anyway, somehow everyone came out that with no cards given, uh, good punch from John there to stop their free kick. It's a long, high kick. How's it going to be controlled? Not quite, but number three. Number six comes across to help and wins the ball in front of Liam. Uh, clever feet from the nine. Tolu trying to put a tackle on the six. Free kick. Number three. Looks like he's lining up to shoot. He does so. He's curved it wide. It's at the back with the captain. Number ten. Number five brings it away from Thomas. Sam's coming over to press as well. Number five takes it to the left of him. And uh, he's played it out to the number seven. Number seven up against Sam. Oh, that's not a good kick from Sam. And he's gone back for the ball this time. But he's not gotten any of it really on the first contact and that's going to spark some beef definitely against your old side they're not going to like that and uh, I think a few of these guys are brothers as well so uh, they're always going to back their brother uh, but yeah what do you guys think of that what would you give that yellow card red card uh, warning let us know if you were the referee what would you do with these decisions referee uh, goes to his book this time Sam's going to get a yellow card on the other hand of things, somehow the number seven who got kicked has found his way into the book. I feel like he's uh, same for a push in the altercation. I think it might have been someone else, but he gets the card anyway. Will with the ball, and he's bringing it out from defence. Uh, Lamar tried to drop deep to show for an option. Will ignores it, plays it down the line for Thomas. He's being held by the 10. That's a blatant free kick. This is a good position for a left footer to take a free kick. Junior Reds are trying to organise their wall. Uh, while they do so, the goalkeeper's trying to organise his defence. The ball goes into the box from Sam and it's uh, Liam on the end of that. I don't know what they're claiming for here, but they look pretty uh, mad at the ref. But Liam gets his head to the ball and gets us 1-0 up. Uh, I didn't see anything wrong with that goal. Let me know if you guys did. Liam gets his first goal for UTR and he's a player that works hard. He's shown us good work ethic uh, throughout just his period of being here. And uh, he gets his first goal. Well deserved. Brilliant ball in by Sam. Brilliant leap. I don't know what they're claiming there. They're claiming a foul, it seems. And it just doesn't look like it. Yeah! 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 Fucking get you, Bailey! It's taken us just over 15 minutes to get the first goal in the game and uh, number five yet again sending Thomas rollerblading. Will, uh, again, afforded too much time. You don't want to give him plenty of that because he can pick a pass and he does so. Lovely touch from Thomas to bring the ball down. He's got Sam in support. Sam up against his nemesis, the number seven. Uh, plays it into Thomas's feet. Uh, nice little turn. It gets caught a little bit. Number five is able to make the recovery challenge. 
Okay, from that corner, can we add to our first goal? It's over the head of Thomas. It was a good delivery. No one really attacked it. Bad communication there between Akin and George. And it looks like Junior Reds might get on the break with this number nine. George does well to recover. Gets his body in front. We're claiming for a free kick there. Bradley is waiting for the referee's decision. Waiting for John. Waiting for someone. Under pressure from two players. Calm as you like. Captain for Junior Reds. Nice lad. Number 10. Plays it into number three. Bradley. Sloppy, sloppy foul. He knows that. It just has to pick him up. This time it looks like number 10 wants to try his luck. Straight into the foot of Liam. We've just cleared our lines. Comes down to number 10. Controls it nicely on his chest and gets it out wide. Looking for the three. Good touch. He's up against Will this time. Step over. Tries to take a pass. Gets a little bit lucky, but he's made his way to the other side of Will. He's got Bradley to beat this time. It's going to rebound back off the three. And Bradley's happy with that one. You can tell. We love it. It's towards the halfway line. George jumps the highest and wins the ball for us. It's miscontrolled by John this time and Junior Reds recover the ball. Uh, drops to the nine. Lamar gets a toe in. John uh, fighting back for us there as well. It's a 50-50 for Liam. You know he's going to win it. Loves it. They've worked it out to the number 11. George is in pursuit of him. Trying to recover the ball back for UTR. What can he do? He's been scooped there. It's gone to the left of him. But John's backing him up. That's what we like to see. Helping our players out where we need it. He's found Akin. Akin's been clipped. Looks like he gets through. Referee's pulled it back. Free kick. Number seven, Andrew Robertson, Sunday League Edition. Uh, cuts in to the right, plays it into the number six. Uh, surrounded by UTR shirts. Number nine, likewise, surrounded again. This is good from UTR to block them out. Number six uses his body well, shields it, takes a shot, it's deflected, and John can't keep it from going for a corner. That corner to be taken from the left. It's floated towards the back post. Jumping highest is the five. He's got a good leap on him, but that one was too much. Shoelace check. Number six, uh, shielding the ball from John. They're both big, strong guys. Uh, who's going to win this battle? Number six doing well. Sam's coming to help out. By that time, John's already committed the foul. Number three for Junior Reds. Again, looking to search out for that back post. Uh, Tolu gets his head to it, and then Liam gets it further away. It's an opportunity for Akin to get on the ball away from the number five. Have you ever seen a man take flight? You have now. Looks like in the midst of that, the number five's hurt himself as well. That's going to bring the medical attention onto the pitch. Uh, moments later though, he's back to his feet and we can get going again. We've just had a thrown into Thomas's chest. Couldn't do too much with that one. Number 12 and John in battle there. Akin does well to help him out. Flicks it up, goes for the shot. Dragged it wide. One thing that I'm definitely happy with so far this game is our willingness to press and win the ball back as soon as possible. Comes here to Sam, gets the pass a little bit wrong to Lamar. Too far, couldn't do much. 50-50, John loses out to the 18, rebounds off Liam. John's back uh, across to help out as well. Nicely controlled by Thomas and he's found a pass to Akin. Akin skips past the number two. Akin brings it down under control, up gets number five and the seven. It's brought to ground, no penalty it looks like, no foul it looks like. What do you guys think? Let's take another look at this. Akin, gonna squeeze through that gap there, clipped by the five. That looks like a free kick to me. Let me know your thoughts down below. It was a game that started a bit on the hot end in terms of those challenges that went in early doors. This one's gone in from the number three and the referee comes across and gives him a yellow card. Sam to take this free kick from deep then uh, into the box. Can he get himself another assist? The keeper's done well to get across. Uh, it's going to fall to Junior Reds, but this is what we love to see from our captain. Work rate, we love it. Well done, Tolu. Another friend then, uh, taken long into the box by Bradley. Tolu's going to win the first header at the back post there. Jumping with the goalkeeper is Liam. It looks like it's going towards the line and the five couldn't keep it out. That's 2-0. Is that a second goal for Liam? Well, George doesn't believe so. George believes that that was an own goal. What do you guys think? Was that Liam's goal? Was that an own goal? Let us know in the comment section. Into the box, Tolu's flick on. Uh, Liam jumping highest. And does this cross the line before it's cleared? I don't know. Can't really see. That was a great header back, to be fair. Yes! Yes! yes. 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 That is a very, very good start to the game from UTR and you can tell that man's loving it. He's on a hat trick, or so we think. Let us know your thoughts. If you haven't seen the latest episode of UTR Fiverr side, head over to the UTR channel right now and whilst you're over there, subscribe. Congratulations to this week's winner as well. It's Joe Lewis. You've won yourself an Amazon voucher. So congratulations to you. A reminder to you guys at home, if you want to get involved, all you have to do is head over to the UTR Insta page. Make sure you like the latest post. Make sure you're following as well and leave a comment of what you thought of today's game down below the post. Good luck. You've done, you've done more than we expected, more than we asked for. And that's a good thing. But the thing is, yeah, we're all excited, we're all happy. 
it means nothing if you don't do the same thing second half. Yeah, it feels like we've won, but the game ain't over until the oh, final whistle goes, yeah? Mm. The, go the game's over when we score another one, when we score a second one, when we score a third one. The thing is, the defending has been excellent, the shape. Let them have the ball. It's been absolutely excellent. For the first time, it's like we finally have an idea what we're doing. One thing is, when we get the ball, let's just move it a tiny bit quicker. Tempos, we can dictate the game. It's like boom, boom, slow it down. Boom, boom, slow it down. What we're doing is, we're getting there, we're dilly dallying, dilly dally. In midfield, when we get it, you man know the referee's going to book everyone for every tackle. So these men are hunting for every 50 50. If we move it that tad bit quicker, they will get nowhere near us. They walked on this pitch, Excellent. they're going to smash us to pieces. Excellent. They walked on like that. As soon as we gave it to them, what they do? Quiet, short, breath, 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 breath. Do you know what's mad? They're all Keep coming into us. Them. Like Liam said, they're all coming into us thinking the left back <clears throat> is booked. So we're getting joy with that clip. I know some people don't like it, but we're getting joy with that clip. Like Tom, Tom's trapping it, but then it breaks down after that. So we need to know what we're doing after that. So obviously you've got yeah, you've got Sam round you. You should well, you should have Sam round you and possibly the highest midfielder that you can set off and then go. Because if, if he's booked, he can't dive in. His game is being aggressive. He's, he can't do that no more. So just pop it round him and then... That, that, that they're always all going to try and foul him. Yeah, all, all, all of the ones that want to be aggressive, they want to show. None of them, none of them can be aggressive now. Ready for the second half. Thomas gets it underway. Uh, can we keep up the level that we started with in the first half? Sam Bailey on the ball, on the right-hand side. That plays a ball into the box. Not a bad knock, not really attacking. It comes out to Liam. He's looking for that hat-trick. He's looking for that hat trick. This guy loves it. You can tell. Look at him. It's good to see when people play football with a smile on their face. Number five uh, looks to have dropped into midfield now. It's uh, just collided with John there, it would seem, as the number nine loses possession. UTR can continue the attack. It's Lamar. Number five is still on the ground. Some of our players urging Sam to put the ball out of play. Eventually, we do so. Uh, he's able to get back to his feet. I'm not quite sure what happened. Looked like an accidental collision. Just tried to get out wide there. It's hit off the number four and comes to the number three. That's minus one. I guess it's minus one again because he's lost the ball. And it's plus one. He's got the ball back for number three. He skips past uh, Liam there, goes uh, towards George, and somehow he buys this free kick. I don't know how George does it, but he gets them. We're chasing them back towards their own goal. It's Akin on the number five's case. Can he get anything out of it? Nope, he just gives away a foul. They take it fairly quickly, it's with the number three now. George is chasing, number three up against George and Tolu. He's got some decent feet, this guy. Keeps in play as well, up against George. Can he get past Tolu? Ooh, what is that? I feel like if I was to give that, maybe a corner or a free kick. Deep inside their half, Liam picks it up off of uh, Lamar. Uh, plays it into Akin, Akin, lovely turn around the corner and he's poked it just against the goalkeeper. He still hasn't quite gotten the finish in there. He's come back to Thomas, his shot's blocked and they'll clear it only as far as Liam. Can we keep it alive? Uh, up against this number four, on his left foot towards the back post. He's played it, number 15 misses it, Sam's missed it as well. Opportunity gone. We have a corner, Sam takes this one, in swinging towards the back post, just skims off of Tolu's head. Substitution, John's gonna make his way off just before the hour mark for Eric, he makes his return to UTR. What's he gonna do? There is a chase for the ball and Thomas looks like he's going to win this up against the 15. He's tracking back quite frantically. Thomas cuts inside, got the number two in front of him this time and he can't keep it in play. Into our half once more. Bradley with the header, gets some distance on it as well. Falls to Eric. Eric skips past the number 18. Free kick. That is also going to be another card. This referee hasn't been shy to bring out the cards. I think that heat at start to the game has definitely fueled that. Sam on the free kick. He's taken quite a few this game. Uh, into a decent area it looks. No one's attacked it. Easy for the goalkeeper. So with Sam on the right. Uh, number seven and Sam both on yellow cards. They have to be very careful if they do not want to get sent off. It's a lovely switch from Sam though. On to Akin. Akin uh, sees the back of the 15 shirt. Good feet there. The shot not quite as good though. Number 18 for Junior Reds. Looking deep into the box. Number five challenging. Collides with Tolu. They're claiming a foul maybe or a poor challenge from Tolu. Uh, referee doesn't see too much wrong with it. Gets back to his feet anyway and he's not happy. It's been booted long and high by John. It's hit off Thomas or the 15 there. Falls through to Akin. Gets there before the goalkeeper for somehow and then it's cleared by the number two comes back here to George up against the number 11 uh, I, I, I have no idea either I have no idea that's that, is that I don't know substitution Sam Bailey making his way off he's had a decent game got an assist to his name as well no goal today but I'm sure he'll be happy with his performance making his way onto the pitch is Lamre number 18 let's get it going George with a throw in uh, from the left into Thomas, well controlled, lovely little feet there as well. Uh, it's played it onto Akin. Can Akin get into the box? It's blocked by the number two, comes back to Thomas, he swiped wildly at it. Uh, it's going to come back to Lamar here. He tries to find Lamry and he's caught wrong footed. 15 with a pass out wide comes here. George, that's naughty, that is naughty. And you know what's going to happen here as well. There have been a few of those challenges. Number two's down on the ground and uh, George is going to make his way into the book as well. 
Trying to clear our lines. Uh, number 18 shielding the ball against Lamar. Hooks it back into an area. Looks like the six is offside. The nine's not. Nine tries to control it. It's been called anyway. That's caused a few problems over on the far side uh, with their management, the referee, and uh, Temi, who's linesman, who's made the decision. He's called it offside. What do you guys think? Coming back towards us, uh, we've won possession. It comes to Will. Number seven goes flying in. Number nine comes across and wins the ball nicely. Up against Bradley. Tips it past Bradley. Bradley trying to make a challenge in there. Eric's back to help, and he does just that. We're able to clear it. Number 18 with the ball, uh, looking for options. Sees a bit of movement from the number four. He tries to flick it around the corner and it's caught the referee. I'm not quite sure where, but I feel like we can have an educated guess and uh, looks like a little bit of a sore one. 18 then, goes to take that free kick. Taking it quickly, we've been caught there. Number four brings it down and it's into the side netting. Akin with the ball, uh, driving towards the junior reds box. He's got George to his left, he's playing a little bit behind him. George takes it out to his left foot. Decent ball and Toby who's fresh on the pitch with his first touch, could have scored there. Uh, so close. 18 uh, into the five. Uh, Bradley does well to get his body across and win the ball back for UTR. Uh, Eric with a lovely pass. Akin takes around the goalkeeper. I'm only going to show it once. Lamry on the right up against the 15. It's not a good position for him to be in. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Can he get the cross into the box? He does so. It's floated there and Toby can't get the connection. They've just tried to get rid of it. It's going to fall to Captain Tolu, who plays a ball over the top. We've got George in behind, up against the 15. Can George get his goal? He's going to play it across the box here. Lamry with an empty net to tap the ball into. That is game, set and match. Uh, with less than 10 minutes to go, we've gotten our third goal. That's lovely from Tolu. Uh, good from George as well. And Lamry had the easy job of tapping it in. We say it's easy, but we've seen plenty of people miss those. I say plenty of people, I mean myself. been a good battle but on this day it looks like UTR have been just too strong for Junior Reds. Lovely from Eric and Atkins going to find Eric again. That's a good one too. Uh, he's got George to his left. Can George get a decent ball into the box? It is a very good ball. No one can get on the end of it sadly. With 3-0 no up and Tolu decides to step into midfield. Uh, also step into attack there. He's beaten a few men. He goes to the ground. Referee says no free kick. Tolu in possession, uh, sees Lamre in a bit of space. He takes it down on his chest, 14 chasing back. Lamre then has three or four junior red shirts in front of him. Finds a pass to Eric either way. Uh, Eric tries to chop inside, doesn't really work. Uh, deflect away from Toby, comes back to Akin. Akin touch and clever back heel into Toby. He tries to find the top corner, easy for the keeper. Number 12 for Junior Reds, uh, finds space for a pass. That's a beautiful pass as well. John called into action and he's there. Lamre in field, he has Eric to his left. He's gonna use Eric. For some reason, Bradley's making a forward run and he's trying to get on the end of this one. Just missed it. Toby's on the far side against the number 10. Looks like it's gonna be the last action. The referee blows his whistle. That's the game done. Um, a very good performance from UTR all round. Solid and hopefully the good signs of things to come. As for Junior Reds, good luck for the rest of the season and we'll see you in the return fixture at our ground. If I'm honest, I don't even think there's too much to say. You lot, we don't even need to talk when you lot have done the football. You literally came out and played pressed. Thomas set the tone from the start in terms of pressing. Um, we had many contenders for Man of the Match. 100%. Liam. Hi, hey, Liam, but. Um, Woo! George turned up in the second Brad. half, Brad. Um, so no, honestly, Will, Tolu, organised at the back. Brad, everyone was actually solid all the way through. Yeah. That's the most organised and best defensive performance I've seen from all of us. And when you were called upon, you did your job as well. Yeah. So, in terms of heart, if we keep that level throughout the whole season, no one can come near us. And that's just straight facts. I gave, gave you three, four instructions at most. And you took them on board and you absolutely ran with it. Mm -hmm. Deserved it. Yeah. Right, next week, make it 5 6. Set the standards higher. And lastly, before we come here, a couple of men were late, so <laughs> give Murphy's his peas, fam. <laughs> <laughs> and also, Akin, when are you going to score, fam? Oh, you get it to go. Oh, you get it to go. Best for this week, bro. Right, Bailey. Alright, final point. Zoom into his left slider. That said, Javin. <laughs> that is it though guys let me know your thoughts on the game down in the comment section below plenty of talking points to be had make sure if you did enjoy the video that you hit that like button and if you're not already subscribed what are you doing press the button always a pleasure always appreciated guys i will catch you in the next video peace
destined for greatness Back in school days I was known for my lateness Always wanted more, wouldn't ever try to take less Always been the real guy, never liked the fakeness Never liked the fakeness, always kept it real though Back to back on the track with my little bro Keep our heads high but we work with our heads low Destined for greatness, it was known from the get go Known from the get go, written in the stars Pulling all the strings like we're playing on guitars Putting all the work so we know it's really ours And now we whip it